good morning, good afternoon, whenever you're tuning in. Um, my name is Whitney Nicely East, and I am the principal broker for Whitney Buys Houses. We're a real estate firm in Tennessee and in Georgia. And good morning, everybody, as you're joining in. Um, I'm really excited. I've got a lot of good stuff going on today, and I haven't even left the house yet. So this is going to be a great day. Um, one of the things I'm excited about is that I got a little tripod so I don't have to hold my phone anymore, which if you've been watching some of my periscopes, you will know how annoying that is because I shake and I talk with my hands and it's annoying. So anyway, I got this little gizmo now. Good morning, Al. Um, the second thing I want to tell you is I got a phone call this morning. I am part of the Knoxville RIA, the Real Estate Investors Association, and since I am loud and bubbly, um, the president usually lets me say a little bit or do a little bit or something, and um, I know that he's, you know, on my side. He's cheering for me as I'm going out into the world sharing real estate with the masses, and he called me this morning from a Home Builders Association meeting. He'd been talking to some builders, some contractors, and apparently some politicians about me, little old me, and... He called to see if he could pass my name and number and my website onto some politicians who are running for office this year and need some help with their social media campaigns. Me. He thought of me. <laughs> so I, I said, absolutely, I'd love to consult with them. I forgot to ask who it was, what party they're with, and you know, anything about them, I just said, yes, I'll do it. Because <laughs> if you get an opportunity to work with somebody like that, and especially if the president of our local board is calling to say, I want you to do this with them, I'll figure it out, right? So the Lord blesses me every day with new opportunities, and I get out, I do my social media thing, and it's starting to come back into me, and I love it. I'm really excited about it. I actually have a speech in May with the um, women in construction. I'm going to do a social media talk for them in May. Um, and also, I'm doing two live classes for new investors in Knoxville. It's the second and third Saturday in March. So if you're interested, come on in. Um, it's $150 for Knox RIA members and it's $350 for non-members. Uh, and it's two Saturdays. I think they're four-hour sessions. So I've got a lot to share and a lot to teach and you're welcome to come join those. But anyway, today, today's real estate lingo, real estate phrase of the day, whatever you want to call it, um, I'm actually coming to Georgia today. <laughs> so, um, And I think Brandon Wigley and I are going to do a joint collaboration speech gig event in Atlanta the first Thursday in March, I think. I, I think. That's what we were talking about, but don't hold me to that yet. But anyway, today's real estate word phrase is arrears. A-R-R-E-A-R-S. And arrears is basically when you get behind on your payments. So when I call sellers, I will say, how much do you owe? How much do you pay per month? Oh, hey, good. Okay, I'll, I'll see you in Atlanta then. Um, and are you behind in payments? Because if I, if I ask a seller, are you in the arrears? Are you in arrears? They're going to say, no, nah, we're good. My rear end is fine with it. Don't, don't even worry about my rear end. <laughs> and I say, no, 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 no. It's not like that. Are you behind on your payments? So for real estate investors, I can go to our meeting and I can talk about, you know, so-and-so's in arrears and I just know, and the investor I'm talking to, they just know that that means they're behind. They've probably got fees and fines and all sorts of stuff stacked up against them now. But when I talk to, you know, somebody just on the street, just a regular person, I would say, are you behind on your monthly mortgage payment? And I just have to work out the actual definition in my head. And that's why I am really good at talking to sellers is that I tell everybody I speak very fluent redneck, if you will. <laughs> I mean, I'm here in Knoxville, Tennessee or Rome, Georgia, and I talk to regular people all the time about real estate. And very rarely do I leave with them confused on some term because I break it down to regular English, not 
talking above their head to where they don't understand what I'm saying and I have to break everything down. I just break it down when I'm talking to them. So, your word of the day is arrears. See if you can try to use that in a conversation at some point and try to avoid it if you can because then you'll have to explain to somebody what it means. Just go ahead and say, are you behind on your payments? Uh, if you want my seller lead sheet, it's on the website, WhitneyNicely.com. And if you want coaching, all that's on the website. I added a discovery call because I have a lot of people that want to call for, you know, 10 or 15 minutes to get a one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, arrears, basically just behind on payments. Thank you, Al, for putting that up there for me. Um, if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, a lot of people call and they want 10 or 15 minutes just to kind of see what I can do for them. And since that's specialized, everybody has a different goal, I went ahead and put a discovery call up on the website and you can sign up for those. They're in 15 minute increments. Um, you'll get, oh thanks. Oh good, good, you sent me an email? Okay, good. Um, my email is info at WhitneyNicely.com. If anybody else wants to shoot me an email, ask me some questions, sign up for a discovery call, Sign up for an hour. I will pour my little real estate brain into your real estate brain for an hour. Or you can sign up for a month or three months. However much time you think you need with me, go ahead and sign up. Um, one thing I'm doing, if you want to, if you're thinking that you might want to someday start flipping houses or get into real estate full time, I would strongly encourage you to spend a day with somebody, me or somebody else, who does real estate flipping like you want to do day in and day out because if you watch it on TV let me tell you it is completely different in real life than it is on TV and it's a lot more fun it takes longer it's not gonna happen in 30 minutes like it does on TV or an hour or whatever show you watch it's gonna take a long time but sk spend a day with them and I offer Fridays Fridays are fun for me I'm usually a little bit more relaxed. People are usually a little bit more relaxed, but they're still in that work mode. I would not do a weekend with somebody because you, you don't get the real feel for the work week. Um, but spend a day with somebody. And right now I'm offering, if you want to spend a Friday with me, you pick any Friday in 2016, any Friday, and pay for it in February. It's 500 bucks. If you wait until June and you're ready to spend a Friday with me, it's going to be 1000 bucks. So, if you want to get in on that, you can go ahead and pick a June date, but go ahead and get it arranged now. My calendar is booking up. I had a girl spend all last Friday with me. We go through at least three houses, three houses we're going to go through in some form of buying, selling, flipping. Um, we'll talk to contractors, we'll talk to realtors, I'll pour out all of everything I have to say on a regular basis. We'll call sellers. Uh, we're going to answer my phone because I've always got buyers calling in. So we're going to answer my call. You'll hear what it sounds like when I answer the phone, who I'm talking to, and what I say to them. So it's really in-depth. It's a great learning experience, and it'll let you know if you're ready or what you need to do to be ready to be a full-time real estate investor. It's not like it is on TV. It's a lot more fun than it is on TV. There's no way... They have more fun than I do. So, if you have any questions, info at Whitney Nicely. You can check out the website, WhitneyNicely.com. And uh, I'm starting to put some videos up on Vimeo. Does anybody use Vimeo? Y'all use Vimeo? I I'm starting to put some videos up there, and that's, that's getting really cool. So, um, check out all of that stuff. You've heard about it. It's like video, but with an M instead of a D. And it's pretty cool. So um, I'm going to record some, um, I guess some of the stuff that I say like on a regular basis, like when I, when I, when I, um, on my seller lead sheets, I'll, I'll put a video up that just works you all the way through a seller lead sheet. And it'll, it'll be part of the package when you buy the seller lead sheet. Um, it's different than YouTube. When I got into Vimeo, I actually had to pay for it, where YouTube is free. But YouTube has those little ads, you know, five or ten seconds before the video starts. Vimeo doesn't have any ads. You just shoot straight into it. So what I paid up front cuts out the advertising, I guess. Um, 
and on YouTube, like if I wanted to just send somebody a video, I can't do that. But from Vimeo, I can put in their email address and it shoots straight to them. Um, YouTube has to be password protected and different stuff like that. So I'm learning about about Vimeo. Uh, BizTechpreneur is helping me. <laughs> Kristen is helping me greatly with that. So anyway, if you have any questions, info at WhitneyNicely.com, and I will talk to all of y'all tomorrow. More uh, definitions, terms, and lingo tomorrow. So check back in. I hope everybody has a great day. See you later.